So we're getting a new Starlink and I'm gonna show you why we need a Starlink because we have AT&T high-speed internet. We do. You, you be the judge of that. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Yeah, that's 0.15 download. Show them that 0.09. Woo! We are burning it up right now. Trying to watch YouTube videos and it, it will only load in like 144 or 244 or something like that. Oh, and Bill's over there buffering. <laughs> you buffering, babe? It's beautiful. You don't have to reset the router, see if it helps a little bit. To admit, our normal, our normal, it is point, is, is eight. Eight, yeah. Our normal is eight. Eight down and point six up. Yeah, normal. yeah. So YouTube videos do not get uploaded from this location. Because even my Two Cent Tuesdays that are just a couple of minutes long, they take three or four hours. <laughs> Horrible. But we- Starlink's supposed to be here Tuesday. Yes, Starlink is coming Tuesday. Um, it's still not, they're doing like beta still. It's still in beta. It's still in beta. So we're, they're just giving it to us early. I guess they feel bad for us. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they know what we have, but. <laughs> so we're going to take y'all on this adventure when it, from the time that it gets here until we get it installed and let you know how fast it does compared to what we have now, cannot be worse. Cannot. That's not even possible, I don't think, is it? It's possible if it doesn't work at all. Well, yeah, that, that would be, that, that way it would, it would have to not work at all to be worse than what we have now. Bring you on this little journey with us. Router, and now look, wow, we're at 5.8 and 0 0.656867. Oh, look, it's going up. 0.72 upload. Whoop, whoop. Today's the day. It's finally here. Yay! Now we just hope it works. <laughs> Let's see what's in the box. Get your guide. Hey. Well, some instructions. Don't you wish all the instructions were that easy and that big? Hey, do you need to get your glasses out for that? I ain't got to get my glasses on for that. <laughs> there it is. We got the satellite dish, mounting bracket, bunch of cable, modem, router, whatever you want to call it. And now all it is to see if it works. We're going to take you on the journey of two people that don't know anything about really technology installing this and putting this out. Now we're just gonna set it in the yard, run a cable in here and see if it works. We're doing that now. We'll, here permanent, we we'll permanently set it up later. We're just gonna see if it works. Are y'all excited to see if it works? I'm sure. What is that? So does, does that just stick on that right there? Yes. Oh, what? Hey, you, you're leaving your instructions that I just walked on. Uh, it's Starlink's app. If you're gonna get Starlink, download the app. It's gotta check for obstructions. We were gonna put the Starlink initially on our roof, but there's two trees too close. So we were gonna have a pretty good bit of obstructions. So now we've gotta move it out here in the middle of the backyard. I'm gonna have to put a pole or something out here to mount it on and make it look semi-decent. And that way we don't have any constructions. Obstructions. Don't have any obstructions going on. Well, let's check it out. And 
Okay. See if we can get a switch. So, so you open up the app, you download it, and then you'll click, it says check, check for obstructions. And you lift up and, and see, we still have some obstructions here. Cause you can see the trees. I hope that that's showing up on this is in the circle, but you have this circle that you need to like go all the way around and make sure there's no trees. So if you're thinking of getting it, you need to do this first to see if it actually will work in your space. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, you're gonna have to have a lot of sky, a lot of sky. We're just gonna lay this across the yard for right now, and then I'll bury it and put conduit and all that in and run it all up. But right now, we just wanna see if we get a signal. So white and white. Yep. Black and black. Black and black. You got plugs up there is gonna be the best place for right now. Otherwise you're gonna have to go in behind the computer. I'll let you, this is your area. You'll figure out where all that goes, but I would like that to be on like a shelf up there. Start with, we need to hold the camera then while I'm doing that. All right. I don't need to sign oh, up. No, you don't. Okay, I thought you had to sign in. Go back. Oh. Start set up. Yeah. Plug in everything. Open Wi-Fi settings. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. Is that all we were supposed to do? Yes. Yeah, oh wait, oh, did I just see something? Starlink. <laughs> Should be Starlink. One, two, three, four, five. And mm, I don't have that. Oh, there it is. It just popped up. It popped up right there under others. It's connecting. Because when you first plug it in, it's got to um, find its. Do I go back to Starlink now? I don't know. <laughs> Look, the instructions say this, <laughs> that, and that. Oh, it says con connected. Starlink wants to join your Wi Fi join. Enter your, enter your new. You don't want to show that on here, though. Yeah, Wi-Fi password. All right, so we had to enter the, the, what we wanted to call our Wi-Fi, and we had to enter us a password, and then it's setting that up. Reconnect to Wi-Fi. Connect using your network. Oh. They say something about you have to reset them every now and then after you set it up. You have to reset it. And then... Nope. I was looking for the Starlink. <laughs> Is it already found its little thing out there? I don't know, I guess. I hadn't been out there to look. All right. It says that I'm connected. Let's see, speed test. Go. Era. Cannot internet, and there is. Like I said, some, a lot of people say after you set it up, you have to reset it. I don't know where the, how to reset it yet. Oh, now it's connected. So you just go back. It doesn't tell you this, but you keep going back to the app after you finish whatever it says, because it didn't tell me that. So it's connecting and waiting while the satellite reconnects to the, the Starlink connects to the satellite, satellites. So I guess right now it's probably out there looking. Oh, we need to go look. I just went off. Oh, app just crashed. <laughs> it's exactly what just happened. That's a lot of seconds. <laughs> That's like, that a lot of seconds. That's like what, three million? Uh, 15, oh, it's counting down. That's really how many seconds? Oh, we might be here a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see or not, but uh, it says that's like 3 million. I, like, I would have to sit there and like well, figure out. If you'd hold it still. One, two, three, one, two, three. 315 million, 964,480 seconds. And it's not count. I mean, like it was counting down a second ago, but it just not, it's not counting again now. It counted down for a couple of seconds. What does support do? That, I mean, that would tell me who I'm gonna con who got contact if I have a problem. 
Do you want to go out there and see if anything's going on out there? To do that and stop it in the middle. He just unplugged it. I'm just reading. Why would you call support? Because it says I had to go through all these steps first before I call support. Okay. When everything's correctly connected and plugged in, you'll see both lights on the power supply turn solid white. Within 60 seconds of powering on, the Starlink should automatically level itself from here. Your Starlink will search for satellites overhead once it makes its initial connection to the Starlink. This typically can take 15 to 30 minutes. Well, Your Starlink will tilt itself. You can now connect to the network name on the back of the Starlink with the router. Warning, issue. Ensure your hands and other objects are not in the way. Do not attempt so to manually saying, adjust. Does it say don't connect that? Or does it say connect that? Yeah. All right, well, I gotta, it says I, I got to wait 15 to 30 minutes before I know. Yeah. All, All right. right. Love you. I'm going to finish the video. He got called into work. All right. Well, we're going to wait 15 to 30 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and try to set it up again. It just popped up and said online and good connection. So I'm gonna make sure I'm attached to that. Let me go to speed test, go. And let's see if the speed test works this time. Oh yeah, speed test is working. Oh, 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 oh my God. Holy shit. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's a big difference from six. Oh my gosh. Is it 200 and, it was like, it's 213. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show you this. Is it 213? Look at the upload. The upload is at 16. I'm fixing to upload a video to YouTube because I got no. one. What, what do you mean not? You're leaving. <laughs> I'm gonna go find, watch everything I can in 4K. 14.8. 213 and 14.8 upload. And what we our, just- Our <laughs> normal, is probably eight down and 0.6 up is our normal. Oh my gosh. Um, I think so with my computer up to it. All right, well, I'm not gonna quite end this video yet because we wanna use this over the next week or so before we actually give you our true feelings about this because we wanna, we, wanna, we wanna let it go for a week or so. So just stay tuned, we'll give us our thoughts. And if we have any problems between here and then, I will pick up the camera and let you know on the computer too, because that was on my phone that I ran it. Now, I did want, to, I just hooked my computer to it and I wanted to run my first speed test with y'all and let y'all see it and see where it comes in at. Oh, looks like we're gonna get better. 233 on the computer and 20 on that. Wow, that is insane. All right, next time I'll see you, I'm gonna let you know what we think about this. But I have to say, it really was super easy. It is literally plug and play. Plug and play, that's it. All right. I hope this keeps this up. I think it's gonna go watch some videos on 4K and I'm gonna upload a video to YouTube. I have one that I need to upload and I have to wait till I can go somewhere that has better Wi-Fi to upload. So now maybe I'll be able to upload stuff from here. and it's already loading up. I'm so excited. All right, so I'm gonna upload a video. Typically, my Two Cent Tuesdays, they're about three minutes approximately, then I do them in 4K, and it takes our old computer, or my old computer, our old Wi-Fi, it would take roughly four to five hours. <laughs> so I am fixing to test and see how much faster this one is. I'm gonna set a timer and I'm going to upload 
this video. So let's upload a video, select, click on it. We're gonna hit start because it's starting to upload. And then once it uploads, I will let you know right now it's telling me it's 11 minutes to upload. Now it's already down to nine minutes to upload. So it's at eight, eight minutes to upload. All right, I've got the stopwatch going. I'm gonna stop as soon as it gets uploaded and come back to you because I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me for eight, seven, six minutes. All right, it's counting down. It says 10. Oh wait, it just went from 10 to five seconds. 